Downtown Hot Springs, the city area is so beautiful, it really puts people in the natural state. However, that cannot be said about many of the buildings here, left alone and abandoned in clear sight. But one man is trying to change that. Christopher Ricks has a big dream of restoring the buildings full of history of the past, with the Clinton House, the Perry Plaza Motel, Ten Ten Pub Cafe, and the Central Theater. Can you please state your name? My name is Chris Ricks, and I am a real estate broker and developer. Heather Wright, administrative assistant to Ricks Realty. Central Theater was an interesting remodel um, in that it changed so much from a really kind of a bad 1980s remodel back to a historical theater that's contributing in downtown Hot Springs as an actual business. Um, not just a business, but a place of work, and also a, somewhat of a community center as well. Um, we've hosted plenty of nonprofit events there, and anybody that walks in the door is just blown away, one, at the remodel, and two, that we have such an elegant space in Hot Springs. Well, it used to be a horror movie theater, plus other random things, but, but it, it was mostly a horror movie. It, and and it, it looked like the Easter display at a mall. He, he has pulled back the concession. It used to be further out and a lot smaller. 1010 Central is might be my favorite just because I like that building so I'm partial to it. Um, it's just an industrial style building, 23,000 square feet, two story, but it's such a vast building. It just kind of keeps going and going. Um, I really enjoyed that remodel. Uh, in that it has different spaces that do different things. It has the deli, it has a game room in the back, there's a dressing room that um, is borrowed by the theater, and then the upstairs is still in its development stage, and I haven't completely decided what I want to do with it. The most expensive pro project that I've done was the 20 unit of apartment building. It's a pretty massive building that had to have everything done. Roof, wiring, um, I didn't have to do all the sewer, but there was still quite a bit of plumbing that had to be uh, taken care of and addressed. So that was, a, that was an expensive project for this area and for me at the time. Um, and quite, quite a long process. That was an ancillary idea. Um, I've been seeing it sit up here for years and years on this hilltop that we're on right now. And just people come by every day and take pictures because there's little memorial stones down in the yard that say Virginia Clinton Kelly and Boyhood Home of Bill Clinton. But really and truly, maybe it was more because I bought the property next door and I've, you know, well invested over a million dollars there and still more to come um, on that 20 unit apartment building. So making sure that this property was done correctly was multifold for me in that one, I can control what happens here so nothing negative happens that could af affect the usability of my big investment. Two, um, and they're probably equal in why I wanted to do it. Like I said, one was to protect my investment and two was just a nod to the Clintons. I figured that the Clintons would appreciate someone redoing this house in their honor. Um, because let's just face it, Hot Springs hasn't been very nice to the Clintons and the Clintons have done a lot here. Um, so I thought them just having a positive nod to all of the great things that they've done for the state of Arkansas couldn't hurt. So those two things were even, protecting my investment and a positive nod to the Clintons. Um, the house itself is marginally architecturally contributing in that once upon a time it was a Queen Anne Victorian. Now it has been 
uh, sometime along the way, converted to an English Tudor. The interior is just simple, um, inch and a quarter hardwood, large rooms that aren't really um, period. I mean, the rooms are huge, and there are, there's each each ba bedroom has a bathroom attached with a large closet. None of those are are common to um, a house built in 1896. Uh, so, you know, it's just a big old house. Be a nice nod to the Clintons. Protect my asset. Have another property that stays in service and isn't necessarily torn down. Um, and then probably a little. Um, job opportunity for a couple of people because if I keep this and go through with the plans I'll use it as a museum of sorts so that people can pass by and actually tour a boyhood home which is something that people do all over the United States so we have the signs that say boyhood I'm a Bill Clinton where's the boyhood home well I've got it I've got the keys and I plan to unlock it hopefully in 2023 or 2024